everyone, it's Marie here again. Uh, today I'm just going to share with you a little, um, just show you how I um, make some um, envelopes or bags, whatever you might want to call them, out of uh, tracing paper. And also I'm going to show you some tags that I've just been, I've been making over the weekend. Uh, you might have seen yesterday that I put a, um, those of you on Facebook, Junk Journal Junkies might have seen I put a, some pictures of some tags that I made and also some um, these bags um, that I've made out of tracing paper. Um, just want to show you how I did them really. Quite easy. I'm not going to go through the whole process of decorating and everything. I'm just going to show you how I actually get the bag made. But um, yeah, I'll talk about the decorating on them in a minute. But I'm just going to show you how I actually make the bag. I've just got a piece of... Um, tracing paper, it's just this tracing paper pad which is, uh, it's not an expensive one, it's 60, 60 GSM weight so it's only a lightweight one but it seems to work quite well for these bags I guess you could use uh, vellum but obviously it's more expensive or you could even use paper, make it make them with paper but I chose to make them with the tracing paper and I like the, I like the noise that they make so yeah, so all I did was just took the piece of tracing paper and then kind of, uh, you want to fold it inwards so you've got the seam at the back. Just do a little bit of overlap. And then just crease it down. And then you'll have a little fold up at the bottom. Just about I don't know, half an inch or so. It's not a precise thing. I haven't measured anything. I've just... Um, just, just winged it really, and then the top you'll have a fold down for whatever size you want for your for your flap, for your envelope flap at the top. And then what I do then is um, I don't want this to be a double layer, so just cut cut this at the bottom, just uh, cut down to the fold. to the fold, kind of cut beyond the fold because it will you'll have a hole in the bottom of your envelope. Just cut to the fold and then the inside where it's where the um, where this flap is I'm gonna get rid of this this bit of paper so just cut it on the just cut that on the fold up to the edge there. Open it out might be easier. And then again on the other side just cut on the fold line. That fold there. So then you're left with a just a single single layer and then I just take the corners off more or less even. And then you've got your little fold up piece there. And then you can do the same with the top. On the inside where you where you're going to be gluing in the centre. Just cut along the fold line to the join. And then down again to the join there. And then again. On the fold line, and on the fold line, just down. Where it meets. Okay, we'll get through the, the scraps. So then, I'll round them corners in a minute, but I'll just um going to glue this first. Now I'm just using um, this white glue. It doesn't matter if your glue shows because really what you're going to be doing is um, is covering up the bag so I just want to lay a glue on the, on the flap there and then your short edge at the bottom. Just 
want to be. I mean, you don't want big blobs of glue, but it doesn't matter because it's gonna it is gonna be covered up probably by your decoration. So it's curled up, and then I just just glue that down. So then you've got them the makings of your bag and then what I do is you want the top to be even so I just kind of put the ends together without actually creasing it and just do a a curve or a point whichever shape you want on the top so there's the top of the bag stroke envelope and then what I did with the ones I did I um I inked them. So I just used um, stress ink. I used walnut stain. Uh, I've only just recently bought this walnut stain, and I don't know what I ever did without it. I had vintage photo and some other colours, but I just really love this um, walnut stain. I think it's great, like. So yeah, I'm just. I mean, you know, do as much inking or not as you want, and. What I did is I just did it around the edges because most of the centre of the uh, of the bag was covered with decoration, which I'll talk you through in a minute. So just ink that on the edges on both sides. I mean, you might want to wait till your ink dries before you do. Uh, you sorry, your glue dries before you do your inking. But um, the purposes of this video, I'll just uh, just do it now. Just inking only edges. You know, that's the way I like it to be inked. Cause you can obviously do it any way you want. So yeah, just ink it up. Um, this tracing paper takes the ink nicely actually on the edges so then what I did was um, I'm not going to go through the whole decorating process because it will take too long but what I did was uh, with these I just um, I'll show you this one first I put on one side I put some um, just a piece of tea dyed paper that I already had so then I stuck that on and then put some layering with some uh, dictionary page and then this is a an image printed on fabric, but you know you can put any any sort of image. Just did a bit of layering on one side, and on this side I did a bit of layering again, and um, I stamped it here with a little poem about friend friendship, uh, a stamp that was given to me by um, in a swap by a lady called Maureen Thompson. It says flowers that bloom in the springtime fade in the early fall, but the lovely flower of friendship never fades at all. So that's nice, and I thought they just looked like they might be friends. So I put those ladies there, they're the Tim Holtz paper dolls. And then I made a uh, book paper um, flower, put a button in the middle and just some stringy things on the back and some, just so yeah, I can just decorate them any way you want. So that's that one done with layering. And this one I did with the uh, decoupage. I did some, I, I inked it and I stamped it, some stamping. And then I put on the back, I put this um, sheet of, tissue with the bird and some flowers and then the butterfly was on another piece of the napkin so just uh, rip that out and put that there that's just decoupage on the back and again on the front put some decoupage it's all stamped I put some decoupage napkin here with some like yellow flowers and then the butterfly there and then I just put these um just glued on these two tags and just put pin and pins and buttons on just to decorate so they're just a couple of a couple of ideas. I don't think they look quite nice. They're quite um, quite crinkly that one more so because of the baker parge um, on that one. So yeah, they're quite easy to do. I'd say you could you could use them. Um, you could just do them in normal paper if you wanted to, I guess, or um, vellum. So that's just the start of it. Anyway, glue it together, cut it, glue it, ink it, and then start to decorate it. So that's the. Um, the envelopes and then also I made some uh, um, 
to swipe this. I made some tags as well and I put some pictures of them on Facebook if anybody saw them. So I'm just going to quickly show you the, the process of them. Um, I saw um, on here on YouTube a lady called Michelle White and she did some, she used um, like a big uh, a craft paper album and then she um, put papers and stuff on the top which I'll tell you in a minute and I had some, um, this is from a like a scrapbook album it's just a, um, like a craft paper it's uh, a reasonable weight and then what I did following uh, Michelle White's um, tutorial was I just um, just covered it with my particular ones I just covered them with um, some tea dyed paper and then I put like a, a book page on the top I just ripped a book page and put it kind of in the middle I covered it all with um, tea dyed paper the whole thing and then put the book paper on top but you can layer it up with anything if you've got any bits of um, you know designer paper any patterned papers or anything you just layer them on top of this um, craft card or craft paper if you've got anything like that and then out of this size which is almost an eight inch square not quite I got out of each one I got uh, a large tag and I got three of these three of these smaller tags and then one of these little ones which is just the off cut so from that piece the size I chose I mean you can do them any size you want I got um, I got five five tags in different sizes uh, and then all I did with the tags was um, like these large ones I just um, just layered them this one that that's wallpaper as an image of a little girl. What I did was I glued all the papers on and then when I cut them out I stitched around each one. I don't think Michelle uh, did that on her video but I did. So I, I stitched them around and then I inked them and then I put that, that so that's wallpaper. I did a bit of stamping in the blank spaces. It's an image of a little girl. On this one some stamping in the blank spaces again. I already had um, some decoupage which had fussy cut. Uh, some decoupage paper which is fussy cut so I used some of that there and I just did some layering of some tags there um, some tickets on there and then the smaller ones very similar you can see where the uh, the news um, the book paper was and then it was plain up here so I did some stamping I just layered some images and again here this has got this had more of a blank space so I did some more stamping just a bit of lace and a, an image on there um, yeah, they're all different, but they're you know the same kind of idea. Some layering, some um, designer paper, and uh, the paper dolls, some stamping. This one is um, again some stamping. Uh, an image of a lady there, and I just put a piece of doily on the back, and this is eyelash trim. And that one again. Uh, there's the book paper, stamping roses uh, and a kind of a um, regency lady there and that one's got lace on the top and this one again um, this was quite blank there was a little bit of the book paper on the side there so it's got more stamping on and there's a bit of muslin one of the paper dolls um, little little girl dancing and the little off cuts I mean you know it depends what size you cut them but I had two little off cuts so I just turned them into these ones, these little guys on, uh, just some stamping because these were quite. These are just the um, when they were cut out. That was just the the, the tea stained paper. It's a little tiny bit of book paper in the corner there. So I just stamped them. I just put these little paper doll images on. Two little boys there, probably brothers. And this little guy was leaning on something. So I just put a piece of um, wallpaper at the back there that's uh, got like a black line on. So I put him so it looks like he's leaning on a wall or something. Yeah, so that's them. So um, that's what I did over the weekend. Quite pleased with the way they turned out. Them on the bags. So not much journal making going on at the moment because uh, it's too, getting too near to Christmas. So um, that's just a little something to do. And you've got a spare hour or so. Um, and I've also um, started. I've never done it before um, because we're quite new to journaling. But I've started a December daily. Um, a Christmas journal that I've made 
for sale that never sold so I decided to use it myself as a December daily and I've started um, decorating the pages and writing you know lists and things like that and, and um, I've seen other people doing this you know they're doing it on a daily basis on YouTube but I'm not going to do that I might share it with you when I'm kind of halfway through see how it turns out so that's what I'm up to at the moment um, so I hope that helps in some way if you want to know anything or you want me to do anything else show you anything else just let me know and uh, hopefully I'll uh, see you all again soon thanks for watching bye